call him from the university and he's uh, racing, uh, he's doing free range. Right. Insectos por allá. Alguien mató una, una vez. Un gato mató una vez. Y esto es un trabajo never ending work. Like, el plástico. Uh, people, people here think that plastic is part of the land. <laughs> yeah, it does not biodegrade. Yeah. Does not compost well. And also the the pesticide packages, they just throw it on the land. And that's one thing that we did improve here. But because there's been a lot of mm, government, like they, they they give brochures to the farmers. And right. So they but it's always for conventional type stuff, right? See, but when when you ask them that, please don't leave the the, the package in, in the land and don't leave it in the water. Yeah. Please. <laughs> okay. So they just come by, they try to sell you something, and then they leave the brochure as garbage on your property. Also, but but there are a lot of brochures that say don't leave the the. The packages on the land only right. don't clean the packages on the it's, water. It's rather and ironic. And the, this is our compost, but it's just the compost. What in the bags or? See, it's really old, and it was in this hole. And Rolando used it to clean this table and throw it, it, it to this hole. So. Very nice. To have bunnies here, he raised bunnies. Yeah. In this hole, it it was much deeper. Yeah. So why do you think you don't have that much of a, a pest problem? Is it because of the climate? I think that pest problems appears when you have monocultures and you really need that that crop gets successful. Right. And so it's an easy target. When you, when, you, you, when you do have a few say, and you, you say, okay, uh, this year we had a big attack to the potatoes, so we don't have potatoes right. here. Or potatoes are smaller than last year. Right. And, and if we had only potatoes, we, really ha we would have a really difficult thing or yeah. solve. Yeah. And Maybe in, in, in that position, I will have to buy uh, something to Right. People. Okay. Right now, we, we just had one problem with pests, and it was, it was like we were growing arugula yeah. in the summer. And you don't have to... Do, uh, arugula is a winter, fall crop okay. it goes to flower in the summer really fast so we put a, um, a shade now wh how does that work you mean that if you don't harvest arugula even if like if you grow it in the fall or winter it grows more slowly because there's it's it's a little more difficult mm -hmm. with the cold and if you were to let it grow indefinitely it would turn into to flower and it wouldn't you wouldn't have that leafy uh, See, in, in the summer it, it, it gets it grows very fast, and it it doesn't look um, like uh, a very beautiful leaf, right. like a green beautiful leaf to eat, right. and it gets like colored and all como dura. Yeah, it gets hard. Fibrosa, sí. Yeah. Entonces, Fiber. Para, para, para producirla en el verano le colocamos sombra. Right. Y bajo la sombra no había mucho viento. Entonces se juntaron muchas polillas y se empezaron a agujerear todas las rúculas. Right, right. Y yeah, they show up and they pollinate the flowers and then it's just a big insect party. Sí, entonces ahí no había mucho, como estaba cubierto tampoco llegaban la, las chinitas. Yeah. Los ladybugs. Entonces ahí sí aplicamos 
una vez rotenona, eh, porque se aplica en la noche, porque se degrada con la luz. Bueno. Y yo iba pasando y volaban las polillas. Y salían las polillas. Pero solamente aplicamos una vez. Este año yo voy a tratar de, de que la malla sea más alta. Entonces. The corn. Hacer... The malla corn. Uh, the shade. Oh, the shade, yeah. It's like, it's like a, a net. Ah, the malla being like the world of illusion. It's like no, the no, shadow. No, 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 no. Right, but I mean the, like the root of the word. Uh, yeah. Or wait, or no, you mean like the bag is. Shady film. Yeah. It's like a, like a tarp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like like burlap. That's like burlap, isn't it? Okay. Este. <laughs> mm, bueno, pero la sombra va a estar más alta, la sombrilla. Mm -hmm. Entonces va a poder circular el, el aire. Supongo que no se van a acumular insectos. So you're going to put a, a tarp over the plants. But a higher tarp. Right. It was like this height last year. Right. No. And that's where the, the bugs accumulate. Right. Sí. Okay. Entonces yeah. ahora lo vamos a hacer más alto. Entonces supongo que no vamos a tener el problema de las, de las polillas. Supongo. Si llegáramos a tener un problema, lo vamos a hacer. Usamos esto para dehidratar las plantas en chile. Sí. Chile, no el país, no este país, no chile. Sí. 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 No, that's garlic. Oh, no, wait. No, that's ajo. Ají is, uh, yeah, like chili pepper. Okay, so, like, this year you're, you're trying to run 120 shares, and you want to build um, a dwelling on the property so you can, staff, you can staff somebody here full time, and then you can, next year you can ramp up incorporating chickens and, and worms and... Uh, Sí. Other forms of, of fertilization. Sí, but uh, I visit this guy that is producing eggs, and he he's doing it uh, really well. I think we're going to associate with him. Is uh, está local? Mm, no, está a la misma distancia que nosotros, pero hacia el sur. Ah, okay. Santiago. Yeah. Pero él igual viaja. Entonces, nuestro punto de encuentro es en Santiago. Now, when you say free range, is it like he has them indoors and there's a little strip that they can go to, or it's like it's like a pasture and he moves them around the pasture? No, he has like a 8,000 square meters. Yeah. For one, one, 1.500 gallinas. Yeah. Tiene 1.500 y tiene un gallinero. Yeah. Y el gallinero le abre la puerta a las 6 de la mañana y las entra a las 6 de la tarde. Ah, ok. Y, y, y le, les da... Lo más artificial que tiene es que tiene que cumplir las 14 horas de luz para right. que las gallinas pongan huevos. Right. Entonces eso es, le, les da 3 eh, horas, 3 o 4 horas de, desde las 4 o 5 de la mañana les, les da luz. Right. Artificial. Okay. Para que continúen. Pero ¿cuánto espacio tienen, tienen para.? 8000 metros tienen para pasear. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Es Pero es, está, está como. Está, está así el suelo. No está uh, un, de pasto. Ahora está eh, como. Eh, está café. Porque él tiene muchas más heladas que nosotros. Right. Mucho más frío. Right. Eh, entonces ahora está quemado y en... todavía todavía no lo no los soluciona. Tiene que mejorarlo y hacer pastoreo. Yo creo que tiene que hacer pastoreo. Ya. Yeah. Pero. 
Well, I'm saying like to to do it like pasture where you still have forages, and you know like you you move the chickens before they just turn it into like into mud basically. Uh, you wouldn't have like 1,500 chickens on a hectare for that, right? You would have like 1,500 chickens on like 20 hectares or something like that. It would be it would be much more, much more space. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on on the horse and the dogs chasing.